Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Larry's Country Diner. Have we got a special show for you today? A rock and roll legend is here. Yep. No, I'm not talking about Larry. No. He's a guy who says you can't hurt ham, so he eats it with everything he eats. It's unbelievable. That's Larry. You're a bad guy. I know. The promise, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5, 6. That's our like promise that. for today. I like it. Hey, guess who we have? <laughs> I'm excited. Before we get there, uh -huh. Andy Ogle, the mayor of Maury County, the Mule Town mayor, yeah. has come by with a proclamation. Oh, really? That's right. You ready to read it for us? Yeah. Hit us that proclamation. Well, you know, one of the great... Uh one of the great things about being mayor is I get to meet a lot of great people, but I get to do these fantastic proclamations, if you'll bear with me. I will. Whereas Don McLean is an accomplished and beloved singer-songwriter and a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame, I, Andy Ogles, Murray County Mayor, do hereby, hereby proclaim October 15th, 2020 uh -huh. as American Pie Day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. I touch, I'd touch you if I was allowed to. That's right. That's terrific. Good. Not everybody comes to Mule Town and Thank gets you. the proclamation. Right. That'll go right on my wall. <laughs> Thank you very much. Which one? I hang stuff like that in the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you've got so much stuff. You've got to yeah. overflow oh, listen in the to that. <laughs> and he spends so much time there. Oh, <laughs> I like to read all of the accomplishments. That's right. Don McLean, so good to have you with us, sir. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump into it with a song. Yeah, this is a little song called The Lucky Guy. It's like this. <laughs> And I'm the lucky one I'm a lucky guy But when it comes to love You're the reason why You're the reason why We've been having fun But when it comes to love I'm the lucky one You're a silver swirl in a crystal maze You're a lazy girl On a silken chaise You're a royal flush A string of pearls You're a champagne blush And you're the best of girls And I'm the lucky one I'm a lucky guy When it comes to love you're the reason why, you're the reason why We've been having fun But when it comes to love I'm the lucky one Play a little guitar, boy A cat that squeals in pretty blue high heels. You're a ching, a lamb with a diamond ring. You got a tender touch, a searching eye, and you're much too much for any other guy. And I'm the lucky one. I'm a lucky guy. When it comes to love, you're the reason why, you're the reason why. We've been having fun, oh, when it comes to love, I'm 
the lucky one Oh, when it comes to love I'm the lucky one Yeah, when it comes to love I'm the lucky one He sounds just like himself, don't he? He does. <laughs> sounds a lot like Don McLean, huh? I'll tell you what. Oh, you know why Don McLean is such a lucky guy? He's about to meet Nadine. Ooh. Right here on Larry's Country Diner. Nadine. You're going to love this. Yay. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Get ready. Nadine's coming. Here's Larry. Lord help us, Lord help us. Oh, oh there she is. I hear the music. Her familiar music. Come on, Nadine. Woo, baby. Nadine, Hi. there's the man right there. How you doing, Don? Don McLean. Nice to have you. How are you? Good, good. I'll just start off right now telling you I like that song, American Pie. Oh, thank you. I like it a heck of a lot better than that song about somebody leaving her cake out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> she Minnie Pearl's sister? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, sort of. And the mayor. I'm moving to Columbia. Don't have to wear a mask over here. Whew. Lord, I'm what mercy. What is that? What in the world? She knows I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> so how come I don't get one of those? Lord to be, that looks good. What is that? Well, you know, special people get special things. You got Look any, at that. Gee whiz. Got any Heath bits in there? <laughs> um, Oreos. Ooh. Oreos. Yeah, I don't want to brag, but um, I went in a room this morning, went in another room this morning, and remembered why I was there. Uh -oh. It was a bathroom, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, hey. What hey, gave it away? I, I, um, I got to get my sugar out here. Y'all don't ever have sugar here. Um, it's been um, it's been 17 years, you and I finally. You can't strip that stuff. No, you can't. <clears throat> it's been 17 years, and I finally figured out that I'm probably not bloated. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm I was gonna out. start trying to diet a little bit. I yesterday I had a donut without chocolate on it. Donuts oh, are hard. Yeah. Yeah, I Dots can understand. Hard. I um, but I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I, I had eggs for breakfast this morning. Yeah. Um, I didn't do too well. It was eight Cadbury's. <laughs> <laughs> but I did wear something to church Sunday that fit, and I'd had it 12 years ago. It was a scarf. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we got to be positive. It's got to be positive, yeah. Um, you know, you men are all alike. I told Homer, I said, you can, I can be talking to you and you can look at me and yeah, mm -hmm, and nod and all that stuff and you don't know a thing I'm saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. but it's just so much. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Our preacher told us last Sunday that we needed to write love notes and stuff like that, trying to keep our marriage fresh. So, Monday night, I get a love note. I read it, opened it up, and had Dear Nadine. I thought about smothering you last night with a pillow, but I didn't. Oh. That was my love note. That's precious. <laughs> well, it turned out okay. Well, I told him we need to work on that. Yeah, it did. It did. I told him that's about the sweetest thing he's ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I told my daughter, you got to work at your marriage. You got to find out what irritates your spouse and then use it whenever needed. <laughs> yeah. Like last week, me and Homer both were sick with a cold, and um, I was up doing dishes, and he was on the couch dying. <laughs> See, there's somebody that does. That's <laughs> Keith Fielder's <laughs> wife, I swear. <laughs> That's old Keith does that. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Well, last night I did help him. I went out and helped him search for chocolate that I ate last yesterday morning. 
so I helped him a little bit. Here's chocolate. See, he's looking You at totally like lost that. me on that one. I know. I helped him search for his chocolate that I ate yesterday morning. Last night, I helped him search for it. Oh, okay. I, see, I, can, now, I thought I can tell them to you, but I can't explain them for you. Pay attention, Larry. I thought maybe that meant that you you passed it out on the yard somewhere. <laughs> well, you know, you need to talk to your preacher. <laughs> Does he know where you passed it? Well, I tell you, I don't know, but you, something's bad wrong. I'm just going to eat my dessert and shut up. All right, I'm going to put the sign up. What's it going to say? <laughs> don't stop shining just because someone is intimidated by your light. There you go. I am intimidated by your light, Nadine. Oh. But I am not intimidated by Don McLean because he shines some of the brightest light. Garth Brooks inducted you into the uh, 2004 Songwriters Hall of Fame, I understand. That's right, yeah. Had you met Garth before, long before? Yes, in uh, 1997, uh, he had me at his Central Park concert. Oh, yeah. wow. So he had a million people there. And uh, it was the biggest damn thing I ever saw. <laughs> wow. And I really understood the power of this guy and, uh, you know, his, uh, all the hold he has over people. And this is New York City. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I remember going out, because I wear cowboy boots sometimes, and there was a, a big stage with, like, grating, like, holes, you know. Yeah. And I'm thinking, my boot gonna, heel is going to get caught in there, <laughs> and I'm going to go right on my face, <laughs> you know. So I went out, and I tried and made sure it wouldn't fit in the hole <laughs> and was nervous as hell you know and he had like huge screens as far out as you can yep. see and it's the only time I felt uh, there were so many policemen that's the only time I ever felt safe in Central Park <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a great night he came out and he'd take his hat off just like Gene Autry you know and had that great sign of respect to an audience and uh, he, used, he used it carefully he didn't do it all the time and it was a tremendous night Billy Joel uh was on and sang quite a bit that night, but uh, they, the version of uh, Garth and uh, of me singing American Pie wow. went all around the world. So wow. it was quite a shot in the arm for me and for the song. And um, he did a television special with me and also was, a, he's been a great friend to me. That is super. Yeah, he really has. And he, and, he, and he was there when I got uh, inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I first met Garth when he was selling boots, mm -hmm. wow. and he was the manager of the boot store out in Hendersonville. How do you like that? It was my last day at the radio station WSM doing a, a, hmm. a, a remote there, and he said, well, that's interesting. It's my last day here. And I said, what do you, he said, my wife and I came to town to write songs, and he said, um, uh, this is my last day, and we decided that I, uh, I was either going to make it as a songwriter or we were going back to Oklahoma. Next time I saw him, we were doing a thing at the BMI. And uh, he had hit his long ball then and was really doing well. Yeah. And uh, well, He looks like, you know, when you meet, the, I mean, he's like a steer wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a big guy, really strong. And... I first, when I first saw him at that show, he put his arms around me, you know, and I felt like a, <laughs> some kind of toy, you know. Yep. And he's all exuberant and everything. And, um, but I remember hearing, like in the 80s, you know, there's this kid, Garth Brooks, and he sings your song. And he was playing this local theaters around, you know, and there was a, quite a buzz. Next, a couple of years later, you know, he was playing this, um, Small stadium and uh, singing your song. <laughs> then it's like airplane hangers, you know. And then it's every time I'm hearing these bigger and bigger shows. And so finally, uh, I, I hear about this show he's going to do in Central Park. And I get a, the old days of faxes, you know. I get a fax from him. He said, you know, do you want to be on the show? I said, oh, wow. God, you know. Wow. So, uh, and I went there and I said, you know what? You know, a lot of times guys who are really big and successful, they have a, a lot of dumb people around them, and uh, they're, they're jerks. And I said, if, if I get jerked around by these people, I'm walking out of here because I'm not doing this. Everybody was as, just like he is. Oh, wow. they are, yeah. From the top down, you know. 
That's where Everybody it was great. So that's how you know he's real. Yeah. The next day after that uh, New York City concert, I was at a restaurant downtown having breakfast with Bill Anderson. Wow. And as we walked out, this guy with no hat on, bald head, walked in with three guys and they sat down up yonder. And uh, Bill said, that's Garth. Well, I didn't recognize him without the hat on. So as we walked by, he, he says to Bill, hi, Bill. And Bill said, said something to him. And then he looked at me and he said, hi, Larry. Oh, he never forgets a name. And I thought, my goodness. Yeah. Boy, you, you, don't, you ain't expect, expected to remember me. I was just there having breakfast. Give, the, give us another song, would you? This is a song called Botanical Gardens. It's uh, from the last record I made. Thank you for letting me do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's about an old man walking in the gardens and uh, thinking about youth and love and uh, wondering whether he wants to go back or not. It goes like this. I leave the noise in the dark city canyons and walk through gates of wrought iron black. There lies a world that's transformed before me. When I arrive, will I ever go back? I take a walk through botanical gardens. Look for the faces of the pretty young girls Just like the flowers that bloom all around me I fall in love in this colorful world You might go walking and thinking of nothing Perhaps your love life is caught in a bind they're in a flowery dress In the sunlight You'll find somebody who will change your mind She's haunting me She looms in my memory That beautiful face With perfume in the air She brushes my arm Smiles ever faintly a feminine vision with the sun in her hair. We might go walking hand in hand in the garden. Cross the bridge when it starts into rain. And then go laughing and looking for shelter. And find a feeling that you can't explain. The colorful birds in botanical garden all fly away to a breezy lagoon where lovers can swim in the warm summer waters surrounded by flowers in the light of the moon. Let's have a little guitar. late and the gates will be closing shall I remain or go back to the world shall I remain in botanical gardens surrounded by flowers and those beautiful girls shall I remain in botanical gardens Surrounded by flowers And those beautiful girls I love those flowers And those beautiful girls I love those flowers And those beautiful girls Yeah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Oh, more show to go. And yeah, we're going to hear American Pie for it's over with. Right here. Larry's Country Diner. Stay with us. Welcome back 
back to Larry's Country Diner. Hey, you see what's on the special today? What? It's today's special. What else? Don McLean's American Pie. Oh! Whipped cream and chocolate bits, and I guarantee you no music's going to die while you're eating that. There's Larry. <laughs> Here's Don McLean. Long, long time ago. Yeah! Oh! I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance That I could make those people dance Maybe they'd be happy for a while But February made me shiver With every paper I deliver Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride But something touched me deep inside the day The music died So bye-bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye. Singing this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Did you write the book of love? Do you have faith in God above? If the Bible tells you so. Now do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? Can you teach me how to dance real slow? Well, I know that you're in love with him cause I Saw you dancing in the gym You both kicked off your shoes I take those rhythm and blues I was a lonely teenage punk and bug With a pink carnation and a pickup truck But I knew I was out of luck The day the music died Let's sing it together, here we go We were singing Bye. Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry And good old boys are Drinking whiskey and rye Saying this will be the day that I die This will be the day that I die Oh and there we were All in one place A generation lost in space With no time left to start again so come on, Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack Flash sat on his candlestick, cause fire is the devil's only friend. Oh, and as I watched him on the stage, my hands were clenched in fists of rage. No angel born in hell could break that Satan's spell. As the flames climbed high into the night To light the sacrificial rite I saw Satan laughing with delight The day the music died uh, He was singing bye-bye Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye and singing this will be the day that I die This will be the day that I die Everybody, we were singing Bye, bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye Singing this'll be 
the day that I die. I'm looking Woo. around the room. Young and old alike are singing Bye Bye Miss American Pie. You had to cut out a few verses that we'd be here all day. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> I talked Forget to it. Ronnie Robbins the other day, Marty Robbins. El son, Paso. And he said, don't have him sing El Paso and American Pie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll never get out of there. <laughs> but you know, when you were uh, I did a Marty Robbins day, so, album, actually. Yeah. We were, when we were disc jockeys, those were welcome songs. Oh, yeah, go, go to the bathroom. To eat a sandwich, go to the bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> and pray it didn't get hung. Yeah. That's right. The, I saw on, on a sheet that one of your friends was uh, Jim Croce. Yeah, yeah Jim I Croce loved his stuff. Uh, was at Villanova University. I was there for about four months. And uh, Jim was, an, oh, he was a senior, I think, or a junior, and I was just a freshman there. I quit school, went on the road uh, in 1964, but um, he was a, a guy that befriended me, you know, because I was a nothing in this school, like thousands of students, and uh, he found me because, you know, he liked to pick, yep. play guitar, mandolin and stuff, so he'd come by where I was living, I was living with a bunch of kids somewhere. And take me to some guy in a trailer, you know, and play bluegrass music. And um, but he was a very serious and very nice and very funny guy. Really? Oh, he could have been a stand-up comedian, easy. Uh, he was total a uh, total entertainment. You know, he I was never just met him. I just terrific liked his stuff. player, um, a great uh, singer, and great recording artist, and very funny. Uh, he was a psychology major. He wanted to work with. Uh, kids with the learning dif difficulties. He was, you know, a very compassionate type of a guy. And uh, he was going through a terrible period of trying to figure out what he was going to do with his life. And um, he, then about, I guess, four or five years, I would keep in touch with him four or five years later. I was, you know, number one. I think I just finished playing the wow. big 5,000 seater there in Chicago. And he was over at the quiet night just getting started. And um, somebody said, this, this guy is going to go you know, through the roof. Wow. Because he, he, he already had, like, his first hit was, was coming on strong. He knew how to make hit records. I didn't, you know. I was just... You got another song for us? Yeah, I'm going to sing you a ballad now. This is a song you probably heard, but you might not know how I read it. And it's a song called End I Love You So. Yeah. And uh, it gets used at a lot of weddings. In fact... Uh, when the the royal couple got married, they used this song, and they also uh, it's uh, Quentin Tarantino and his wife's favorite song. Oh boy. <laughs> and I love you so. The people ask me how. How I've lived till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand How lonely life has been But life began again The day you took my hand Yes, I know How lonely life can be The shadows follow me the night won't set me free But I don't let the evening get me down The 
Now that you're around me And you love me too Your thoughts are just for me You set my spirit free I'm happy that you do The book of life is brief Once the page is read All but love is dead This is my belief Yes, I know How loveless life can be The shadows follow me And the night won't set me free But I don't let The evening get me down Now that you're around And I love you so The people ask me how How I've lived till now I tell them I don't know Wow, wow. Mm. Yeah. Just want to uh, introduce uh, Mike Sievers on guitar, Tony Migliori on the keyboards and Brad Albin on the bass He thank you, traveled guys. everywhere with me and thanks thank very you. much for having us Thank you very, very much Incredible song, Don McLean. Yeah. Get us out of here. We're what done. a day here at the diner! Thank you so much for joining us. We got one thing left to do, and need your help. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care. care. You better believe it. <laughs> Can't get enough of Larry's Country Diner? Join us over on YouTube. Subscribe today. Thank <laughs> you.